In this Blender tutorial I will show you how to convert part or all of a colour image into a black and white one by desaturating it in the UV image editor. If you've never used the UV editor before, once you're in the default screen just come to the very sort of bottom left of the screen and next to view left click 3D view and left click UV image editor left click on open and then navigate to the folder where your image is stored and if you want to see what your images look like to the left of normal left click on the four thumbnail button okay I'm going to use this image here so I'm going to just left click on this image and then left click open image to the top here right hand side okay you can roll your middle mouse button in and out to zoom in and out which is pretty self-explanatory okay the first thing you need to do is bring up the color palettes so if you come to the sort of bottom of the screen it's a little box here that says view left click on this and then left click paint now if the palette hasn't appeared to the very top left of the screen you should see a little plus sign just bring your pointer over it and then just left click and this will bring up the color palettes now to desaturate this image you need to change this box here from mix by left clicking on it and then left click saturate now I'm going to take this strength up to 1 so I'm going to just drag this bar here so that it's up to 1 and also depends on the areas that you want to sort of convert to black and white or whether you want to do the whole uh, image depends on the size of this brush as you can see it's right now it's quite a small circle so I'm going to just take this up full size now if you want to do the whole lot all you have to do is sort of just get your view so that you can see everything and then just hold your left mouse button down and just literally wipe across this or your image until the whole things turn to black and white okay if you're not happy with that just press control followed by Z and you can start again now obviously if you wanted to do something a little bit more fancy you want to take the size of your brush down you can either do this by dragging this bar over this radius bar or also if you hold down control with your pointer in the bar you can to hold and down control you can roll your middle mouse so I don't know let's take it down to this size so if I wanted to say highlight these it's probably still too big I'll take this right down if I want to highlight this sort of green here I'll just start working my brush and I've obviously gone too far here so I'm going to have to press Control Z but you sort of get the picture you can gradually work your brush to convert an area into black and white the more work you put in the better the results. If you want to zoom in and you've never used Blender before just hold down shift and your middle mouse button and you can drag your view around so this brush is far too big still so I'll take it down a bit smaller and you can gradually work around so you can end up with a kind of color splash image if you want. Okay I'm gonna just take this back up and totally des desaturate this image so that I can show you how to save it because it's slightly different than using render okay so I'm just gonna drag this over until everything's black and white I do okay now to save the image come to the bottom of the screen and then left click on the word image and then left click save as image 
decide where you're going to save it and if you've watched any of my videos you know my favorite place is the desktop because I'm very lazy I sort things out afterwards and I'll just give it a title I don't know it's Castle Coombe so that'll do Castle Coombe and then left click save as image you might have to do this twice and hopefully if everything goes to plan you'll end up with a black and white image and that's all there is to it really thank you for watching cheers